evaluate P of seven, where P of X is the polynomial, three X to the fifth minus 22X to the fourth plus eight X cubed minus 40 X plus 11. Now, the straightforward way is just to put your seven in, grind it out, add all those numbers up, see what comes out. So probably you're gonna want a calculator for that. When we work it through, what do we notice? Okay, so first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, add everything up, I get a 74. Okay, in an exam situation, that's gonna eat up a clip of time. A better way to go about evaluating the polynomial, take P of X, divide by X minus seven. What will that get us? Well, if we translate what comes out of the division, we'll have P of X equal to X minus seven times a polynomial, okay, that's what comes out of our division, and then a remainder. If I put seven in here, we're gonna get zero. We won't have to worry about this since we're multiplying by zero, so we'll be left with the remainder of 74. So, we're trading off evaluation for a division. Now, long division may not be a better option than this business of evaluation. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use synthetic division, which is a lot cleaner, but we can only use it when we have something of the form x minus a number, okay? Or x plus a number if it's x minus a negative number. So how does synthetic division work? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take x minus your number, put your number here. So if this was a positive, I have to put a negative number here. Then we'll look at my polynomial. I load all the coefficients in, in decreasing order of degree. So that means I would start with three, go to minus 22, go to eight. Okay, there's no x squared term here, so we need to be careful. The coefficient of x squared is gonna be zero, minus 40, 11. So we put them in a so. How do we proceed with the division? Okay, so I start off with the three. I drop it down, multiply by seven, gives me a 21. I record the 21 in the middle and the slot over by one. I add down the next column. So I have minus 22 plus 21 gives me a minus one. Next one, seven times minus one gives me a minus seven. We add down, that gives me a one. Seven times one is seven. We add down, I get a seven. Seven times seven gives me 49. We add down, I get a nine. Seven times nine is 63. I add down and then I get 74. So how do we translate? First, the last entry on the last line is gonna be a remainder. Then we'll get a polynomial out of the terms in front of it. You start with one degree less than your original polynomial. So original polynomial start with an x to the fifth. So here we're gonna have three x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared plus seven x plus nine. So we get a remainder and a polynomial. Okay, the way we translate, P of X equals X minus your number times the polynomial here plus your remainder 74. So if we put our seven in here, as we did before, we're gonna get a 74 out, which matches with what we got through evaluation.